What's up everybody, it is Cam here, Easy Work Acres, and today we're gonna to be modifying our bucket nesting boxes. So this is what we have had in our greenhouse coop for the winter. Um, just something quick, cheap, and simple for us to do. Um, we have much nicer nesting box set up in our actual movable coop over there. Um, but in the greenhouse is what we've been using. And we wanna change this because this hasn't been the greatest situation here. So the chickens can get in there. Yeah, they lay eggs and stuff, but one, you can tell they're super uncomfortable because these are obviously fairly short. So they can get in there, they'll lay the eggs, but they can only get in there forward. And then they have to like back and shimmy their way out of there, which isn't very comfortable. And then you still have the issue of possibly like two chickens trying to get in there together to lay. And then you have the potential of them like smothering each other out. So we're gonna quick make a quick modification to this. I'll show you the finished product. Um, and we have like 10, eight to 10 nesting boxes that we're gonna do this to. And we'll show you what the whole row looks like once it's all complete. And you can see that this is gonna be far more comfortable for our chickens. Alrighty, so I wanted to stop right here so you can kind of see this specific step. So I'm using a jigsaw here, obviously, to cut a line down each side here to cut the top out. Now, when you're doing this, one, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. This is actually like, this is a nice sharp blade. This is like a diamond blade for like cutting tile. Um, I think I used it for cutting concrete where we built the house, but um, essentially it'll, anything will cut this bucket, but making this turn can be a pain in the butt, especially on something that's like wobbly like this. So taking a drill, um, with a decent sized drill bit on it and punching yourself a hole will make your whole life easier. So basically then the blade fits down in that hole and then I can start cutting the other direction and not have to worry about trying to make that turn or anything like that, risking bending or breaking your blade. Um, Cause we have quite a few more of these to do. So I don't want to ruin my blade right out the gate. Um, so drilling a hole right there at your turning point, you'll be able to get your blade in there and then you can cut across the other direction. Alrighty, and this is what we got to it up with here. So basically, I didn't even draw any lines here. Basically, I just, you know, went for it um, because this doesn't have to be perfect. It's just holding your straw and stuff for your nesting box. Um, so we'll basically do this to the rest of them. We'll get it on the rack, get these things filled up, and they'll look nice and pretty. I'm sure the chickens will appreciate it and like these a whole lot more um, than the situation they had before where they had to like squeeze in here um, to lay their eggs or just simply fight over the space to try and get in here. All right, so this turned into be a more expansive project than I thought. So we're gonna get a little fancier with it. Right now I'm making a stand to get these uh, get these buckets up off the ground. But uh, basically I'm just using a pallet, cutting it down into sections, throwing some legs on it to get it elevated. And then I got some use for what I cut off of those buckets. So stay tuned for that. It, I think it's gonna work really, really good. Pretty excited about it. What in the world we got going on here? Sheila. Get your butt down from there. What are you doing? How'd you even get up there? Come on, girl. Look, you're looking for a way down too, ain't you? Get your butt down from there. What are you doing? All right, so we are back in the coop. Nesting boxes are done. And I think they're looking mighty awesome, if I do say myself. So basically, we have the pallet stands that I made. That is all one pallet. Those and this is all one pallet and then like one board from like an old farm fence that I tore down for somebody a while back as the legs. Um, and then these buckets we got for free uh, um, from a local um, restaurant. So we were able to make these bucket nesting boxes for free completely, stand and buckets and everything. Um, and if you can tell, I have used the cut off part of the buckets as dividers to go in between the nesting boxes. So the reason I did this is because once I cut it off, I quickly realized, oh crap, you know, there's no div dividers between, I'm gonna have to build some. And then I got to look and I'm like, huh, I can use this cutoff part to put in between there as dividers. So this wasn't actually a planned thing. I did realize quickly they were gonna need dividers, but then taking that scrap piece of bucket just seemed rather genius. So we slid them in there. The chickens have some dividers so that they don't constantly pester each other when they're in nesting boxes. If you were unaware of this, your nesting boxes do need some sort of divider when there's nesting boxes right next to each other like this because chickens kind of like this nonsense right here, how she just hopped over on the other one. That was like perfect. Thank you. Thank you for being the example. So right now they're checking the nesting boxes out. They're doing all kinds of dumb crap. But when they're laying, 
Typically, as long as there's dividers between them from chicken to chicken, they won't bother each other. Chickens can be jerks when it comes to their laying situation. And if you don't have dividers between them, then they will annoy the crap out of each other the entire time they're trying to lay. So, nesting boxes are done. We got this done totally free. Pretty happy about it because the pallets were totally free. The buckets were free from the local restaurant. And it took no extra effort really other than just cutting these buckets up a little further to make them much, much more efficient in my opinion. So, all right, we are back out here the next day, which we got quite a few eggs since yesterday, but I wanted to point out some uh, issues. So one is that, and this might not be an issue for you ever if you don't use wood chips, but our eggs were dirty immediately. It was so annoying. So it was like within 10 minutes of my last video that we got like a dirty egg almost right out the gate. Um, and I was like, what the heck? This egg's been in here for like five minutes. How could it be dirty? Um, it's the decomposing wood chips. So we never had an issue like this before um, because our wood chips were fresh. Fresh wood chips aren't like soil, but when they've been decomposing for a long time, it basically is becoming soil and they are getting the eggs dirty, like within seconds of them being laid. It, you know, they lay it, it rolls a little bit in the wood chips and then you got dirt all over your eggs. So don't use wood chips if they've be, been decomposing for a while. We're actually gonna pick up some straw while we're out. We were just trying to use wood chips because they're free. We got a bunch of them. Um, so that is why our eggs keep getting dirty. Thank God we figured that out because I'm getting sick of cleaning so many eggs. It's one thing when you're cleaning out a couple, it's a whole nother thing when you're cleaning, you know, dozens and dozens worth of eggs every single week. Um, so another thing to point out with the buckets real quick also is the way the divider is put in here. Um, so yesterday I had the divider with the top edge of the bucket up. It is better to squeeze the top edge of the bucket in the bottom so that this part right here is really thin and it's not something that the chickens can stand on. Um, once I flipped it over, they are not able to stand on it anymore, so that's not an issue. Um, but when it was flipped over and it had a lip of the bucket there, they were definitely able to stand on the bucket on the edge of there. Um, and I didn't want that. I saw that very soon, and I didn't want that to become a place where they tried to roost. Um, I don't think that it's really an issue with them jumping box to box so much as them actually trying to roost up there at night. That's all I got for you. Hopefully you liked the build out. And if you enjoy content like this, please like and subscribe. We'd love to keep sharing stuff with you guys. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.